Hey everyone, this is Edward Davis from Chetmay Sports and today one of our successful clients, Will, is here to join us and talk about his journey to become a professional sports agent. I'm happy to have you and welcome. Thank you for having me, Ed Davis. It was, it was a pleasure um, actually being on your program to discuss um, my journey from becoming a sports agent. It was, it was it's definitely a eye-opener and a, a long journey. Mm -hmm clients, speaking to parents, speaking to you as my mentor as well, learning the ins and outs of the business because it's a business you have to love. You have to sacrifice. You, it's about traveling. I just booked my plane ticket to Cleveland. I'm only going to stay for a day and a half. Okay. I have another meeting to have to go to in two more days. So it's about the grind and the hustle. And this is what I love. I love sports. I love communicating with people. Um, I love mentoring. I, honestly, I love the money, too, when it comes around. All right. Most definitely. So, Will, tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, what did, what had, what was your, your, you know, your backstory? What did you do before you got into the space? Before I got into, uh, before I got into AJ, I was doing real estate. I'm continuing still doing real estate, but that's my main background at this current time. I just started off. After I graduated from college in 2003, okay. um, I went ahead, worked in the financial sector industry, did mortgage refinancing, then I did property flipping, then I did wholesaling, then I did my own little side business with um, I own my own mortgage company as well for a moment. But yeah, I was always in the financial sector and I just believe that my financial expertise could definitely help our athletes to know later invest in their future after they retire because a lot, uh, because you don't play sports that long. It's out of two to three years or you can get injured and that's it. You know, you have to have something to sit back on and bring income in. You still have a family. You still got to take care of all those people that you've been taking care of when you play sports. So you still got to look at the future. It's not about now. It's about what's going to happen in the future. Got you. So um, where, at what point did you say, I want to become a sports agent? Because it seems like you're doing really well in the real estate. What made you say, you know what, I just want to transition and get into the sports world? I always wanted to go transition in the sports world, um, but it was about the opportunity and the timing. Okay. And I, I had a great opportunity listening to you. It was a great timing. And, you know, you're doing well in one sector. You get comfortable. Mm -hmm. And as you get comfortable, you start losing your focus and your vision of what you really want to do. And, you know, you, you make it a comfortable living. You're doing well. You live in a lifestyle you want to live. It's hard to change up. But I figured since the pandemic happened and I saw it just opened my eye open like I can't be I have to be happy instead of comfortable and I'm going to be happy as a sports agent than being in real estate all my life which I'm going to always do real estate all my life but it's not going to be the main focus as it is at this current time gotcha so I guess what problems do did you have with you know transitioning into sports before you you know got into our program uh the problem I had is the it's the know, the know-how. Okay. That's the problem. You don't, there's no material out there to know how to, like an attorney, you, you know how to go to law, you, you do your undergrad, you go to law school, mm -hmm. um, your practicum, and then you, you take your bar, then you become an attorney. There's no know-how, there's no paper trail, there's nothing to be a sports agent. You can look it up, but it's going to take you in circles right. to, what, to see what to do. It's going to take you in circles, then you're like, forget it. Because they oh, don't yeah. really know, you know, they don't really, they don't want the, the added extra competition. So they send you a circle. So I, I agree a hundred percent. Okay. So Will, what made you choose our program over, I guess, going back to law school or, you know, doing another program and things like that? Let me choose um, the Checkmate sports program is I, I like the energy. I like the vibe. I like the, the community. Um, you also put out some positive, honest truth about the business, about how the business is going to go. You are going to spend money. You are going to be up late. You are going to be worrying about signing that contract with your clients. And I'm experiencing that right now. Right. And for you to be 
you and your team was honest and truthful about everything. It just, I was comfortable knowing that you would guide us in the right direction so we could achieve our goals. And I, and I definitely do appreciate it. And I'm looking forward, for, I'm looking forward to the journey. No, no, no. So was there anything in particular about um, our program that really helped you, you know, on your journey to, to become a professional sports agent? And if so, what was it? I think what, what helped me out was the, the weekly calls that we was on, the weekly calls to just refresh us. And you just didn't just say, okay, in six weeks, you're dumped. Next, next class. You know, you continued on with the education, the coaching, the development, you know, the telling us to, to learn our voice and continue with new ideas with the, with the, um, forgive me if I say what the blip, big blick cloud, the, the big cloud, big cloud. Oh, and big cloud. cloud. oh yeah, big cloud. Yes. Different things that I saw in the past in passing, but I'm not paying attention to it. But you emphasize on these different avenues that we could touch and you could bring a whole different avenue of income and to introduce to your clients. I'm, I'm glad that you that you you're enjoying this your experience so far. So from that information that you know that we're teaching, you know, what has been the outcome for you? What has changed? Well, I've been out to, I learned, I'm learning more. I'm learning more about the business. I'm learning different avenues to take my clients to, different revenue avenues to take my clients to. It's just not, I don't have to just call up Nike, but hey, I need a deal. There's other avenues now. There's other digital avenues now. You know, Nike is on a whole different scale. They're looking for A-plus athletes, but there's other avenues to supplement our clients' income. And, you know, once our clients see that we are creative, and supplement their income. That's all they worried about. Supplement my income, being um, current, and keep me in line. That's all they focus on right now. So that is a particular thing that I, I am definitely looking forward to, learning new things, learning new avenue, learning new ways to have income come in. Even for myself, I'm going to do it for myself as well. Right. You know, if I can promote myself, imagine what I could do with superstars. Bingo. Bingo. I try to tell people that all the time. It start with you. Um, mm -hmm. So it sounds like everything is going in the right direction for you. Um, how has your life changed um, since you, you know, went through this program and, and you know, learning this information? Have you been certified? Any things like that? My life changed because you have to, I'm speaking to clients all over the country because I'm, I'm currently certified in soccer. So I have clients in Europe. I'm speaking the U.S., West, East Coast. So I'm, I'm missing calls because I'm sleeping because it's not my time zone. So my sleeping pattern change, okay. my train, of, my thought process change. So I'm trying to align everybody with my sleeping pattern and with their sleeping pattern or how their life is. So it's changing that dynamic. So I got to be mindful. So I always count in my head, okay, they eight hours ahead of me. So I got to count. Can I call them at this time? So things change that way. My mindset it's more cognizant of what I'm doing now. So, Will, I heard you said that you were certified in soccer. So, correct. you registered soccer, agent. Registered, registered soccer agent with no law degree, correct? Correct. Okay. I just wanted to hear that because a lot of people, there's a lot of misconceptions where people think you need a law degree to become a professional sports agent. And it's just, it's not true. It's just not, it's not true at all. It's not rocket science. I did real estate, I looked at contracts every day all you have to do is know how to read and know how to interpret and that's it it's nothing difficult about this job they make it difficult because they don't want us in the space like football is the only one i looked up all sports football is the only one you need a law degree or you need a master's degree to take on i looked at nba you don't need that look at hockey you don't even need it look at baseball you don't need it soccer you don't need it it's not difficult at all and I don't know why it's, you know, it's ways around it that a lot of people don't know about. Correct. Let me ask you a question. Why you think they make it, they try to make it difficult for us. You know why they do it. I, I tell people all the time it's because they don't want us in the space. Back in the day, you didn't need, all you had to do was fill out a piece of paper. You was an agent. 
And then we got into it and, you know, and, you know, uh, the brothers and the uncles and the dads and the moms start representing their kids and they say, oh, we can't have that. So then they made you get a bachelor's and then they tried to get the bachelor's and they say, oh no, now you got to have a master's. Now you got to have a, a, a graduate degree. And that's just their way to uh, try to move the pylon, you know? And, gotcha. and so, you know, our, po- our whole program is basically teaching people how to backdoor it and get it to those credentials without that um, inside connections to be successful like you're doing yourself. So, um, my last question for you, Will, man, because I know you got a bunch of calls. Um, to okay, take definitely. Action. Where do you think you would be right now if you didn't take action and uh, join our program? Right now, I'll still be doing real estate, and that's it right now. I'll still be doing real estate, going on my day-to-day business, feeling comfortable, feel like I, I, I had success, but success is happiness for me. Success is not money. But it's definitely, I'm definitely becoming happy and happy every day and learning. And the journey is a, it's a beautiful thing. Will, I'm sorry, I got one more for you, man, because you just you just made me think about something. Uh, what you said about that happiness, that was that was powerful right there. If there's anyone watching this that is on the fence about, you know, joining this program or booking a call, what is something um, you could tell them uh, to get them off the fence? What I can tell them get off the fence is you, you got to do what you love. You just got to do what you love. You just got to take action. The way I got off the fence, it took me a week to get off the fence. I just wrote my pros and cons down. It's like, it's time. It's time. You just got to do it. You just got to jump in and do it. Forget the risk is going to happen. Forget the reward is going to happen at the end. You don't know what's going to happen at the end. It's just, you just got to jump in and keep pushing. There's days I wake up like, Okay, but my toe, another fire I got to pull out. But at the end of the day, I'm happy. Well, hey, Will, that's, that's, okay. that's what this is all about, uh, achieving your dreams, following your, your, goal, your, you know, your goals, uh, achieving that happiness. So I'm glad that you are um, doing that. And I appreciate you coming on to share your story. And um, I look forward to working with you and, and, and seeing where you end up in the future. Thank you, Ed, for having me. It was a pleasure. All right, man. You take care. You too.